Hey there everyone, I'm Skull902 and I feel like playing a video game. Allow me to just fire up my emulator and play one right now! Yeah, what the hell? Wait, this isn't Mario, it's... Barney the Dinosaur! What the fuck? Okay, so, uh, yes. <laughs> April Fools, everybody. Uh, this is uh, my ill-advised playthrough of uh, Barney's hide-and-seek game. Uh, a very unusual title. Um, this was released for the Sega Genesis of all consoles in 1993. Um, you would think the point of this uh, would be to find, you know, all the kids here that will be hiding in the levels, and uh, there are also some, like, uh, non-living items, I should have said inanimate objects, uh, that you can also find in the levels. But I'm gonna let you guys in on something. You don't have to do a fucking thing in order to, uh, you know, go through this whole thing. Like, can we even consider it a game? Like, in games you're supposed to lose. <laughs> like, you can't lose in Barney's Hide and Seek. <laughs> you can't lose. So it's not really a game, it's more like a tech demo. Um, so this is this is basically it. There's four levels of this. Uh, you know, if, if you uh, idle, Barney will just start walking on his own. Uh, so would you like to know how many button presses it took me to record this game? Or this not game? One. Uh, you have to press the start button on, like, the, the tips for grown-ups uh, section. Uh, and that's it. That's that's all it took. One button press to record this. Um, so again, Barney, you know, he, he does a little dance, and then he'll just start walking on his own. And again, you don't have to find anyone or anything in order to just move on. And it'll go to the credits and everything, so... This... Again, it's not a game. It is not a game. <laughs> um, and I, I really gotta uh, criticize their uh, decision to release this on the Sega Genesis as well. Um, the console that was, uh, you know, marketed towards uh, older kids and teenagers. Like, definitely not the, the main demographic of Barney, you know? <laughs> Uh, and it also had that big-ass controller, that, like, huge three-button controller that I'm sure would be, you know, really hard for uh, preschool kids to be able to hold. Um, so, uh, makers of Barney, uh, what you doing? This this really should have been released on the Super Nintendo. Because <laughs> uh, maybe the graphics would have been better. Uh, the sound, I guess that's something I can I can talk about. Uh, yeah, Barney talks a lot in this game. Uh, this this may, in fact, be uh, the Genesis game that has the most uh, voice acting in it. Um, according to Wikipedia, Barney says over 100 different words uh, and 200 unique phrases. Uh, so, Jesus Christ. Like, th this game, this non-game... This tech demo, whatever, is such a weird anomaly of software. It's so strange. Uh, just kind of like the, the Barney franchise itself. You know, I was a preschooler in the 90s, so I'm a little familiar uh, <laughs> with the purple dinosaur uh, that has uh, apparently haunted a lot of people's dreams and, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um... It's uh, it's, it's kind of like one of those uh, things like uh, it, it started off apparently very uh, humble uh, with a bunch of home video releases and then uh, made its way on to uh, national public television and became a cash cow franchise. So uh, I, I guess uh, good on whoever made Barney. Uh, they uh, realized that he, he had some sort of appeal. Uh, as an adult, I don't understand what that appeal is, but, uh, you know, it's for preschool kids, so what the hell do I know? Uh, <laughs> it's just so weird that he has a video game, though, like, on the Sega Genesis. Just so strange. I can't... I can't say that enough. Um, but, whatever. Uh, so... 
I, I should probably uh, mince my words a little bit, though, because uh, the, the people that own Barney are actually uh, very protective of their copyright on this, uh, on this uh, IP. Uh, I guess I can uh, tell you at least one story. There's one story that I remember where they tried to sue somebody, uh, and that would be the, uh, the famous San Diego chicken. Uh, the, the San Diego chicken, there was apparently, like, a skit at some baseball game, maybe, uh, that he was performing at, where he, like, beat up an obvious Barney XP. Uh, like, someone in a big old dinosaur suit who was acting all silly and whatnot. Uh, and so they were like, uh-uh, we're suing you. <laughs> like, th th these people don't fuck around. Uh, they don't, they don't care if it's parody or commentary or whatever, like, uh, whether or not it's a waste of the court's time because of free use laws, uh, they'll, they'll sue the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, for, uh, for daring to make fun of or criticize their beloved purple dinosaur. Um, though, uh, they didn't actually get to uh, Warner Brothers uh, because uh, it's actually one of my one of my favorite segments ever on uh, Animaniacs. It's called uh, Baloney the Dinosaur, where uh, they they did like an excellent parody of the theme song and uh, you know just uh, it, it's like if you're at all familiar with Barney, like if you watched it when you were a little kid or whatever. Um, you, you probably get like a, a a bit of a kick out of uh, watching it again. It's called Baloney the Dinosaur. It's uh, it's a uh, parody that they did on Animaniacs, and uh, it's it's quite good. Please go watch that instead of this shit. <laughs> um, so like, with with all that I've said about this, there's not really much to say. You know, Barney just walks around and he'll make observations like, "Oh my God." There's a fucking moving background and shit, you know? <laughs> just just for example. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, damn it, what was I going to mention? Oh yes, right. Uh, <laughs> so there's, there's only uh, one professional review of this game that's cited on Wikipedia. Uh, so, for some reason, I guess I just hate myself. Uh, I went on to uh, Game Facts. And, uh, I, I looked at, like, the, the user review section, and there's plenty of those. Uh, and, like, I didn't read very many of them, but there's one that I would absolutely love to point out for all of you. Uh, one that was, uh, just above and beyond, uh, like, all sorts of reason uh, reasonability for, uh, like, judging a video game that's made specifically for the enjoyment of preschoolers. Um, someone, I don't remember who, and it's probably best not to name names, uh, <laughs> wrote a review of this uh, six days after 9-11. Uh, so that's that's something that uh, we're going to keep in mind here. Um, where uh, <laughs> he said that he lost like all faith in humanity or something. Or that this game was proof that Satan took over the world, uh, and that uh, <laughs> and that Barney had taken Satan's place as the devil. In fact, there was like some some fucking role playing segment going on where uh, he he called Barney a purple dinosaur. <laughs> he writes in that Barney corrects him, uh, and he's like, "No, you call me the devil." <laughs> <laughs> and uh like he he criticized you know he criticized everything about this game it was like the perfect uh if you if you wanted like an edgelord's review of this game you go look that one up uh i'll link it in the description uh because uh it, it does like drag on after a while he keeps saying the same shit but like uh the the early goings of that uh review on game facts are actually pretty entertaining uh just because of like, dude, this is a fucking preschool game. Like, it's not an affront to humanity. <laughs> you know. Uh, but he, he like, he, you know, uh, had the, the role-playing bit where Barney corrects him about being the devil and not some big purple dinosaur. He uh, 
criticized everything. Uh, he, he gave a little bit of props to the graphics. Uh, said that uh, Barney really does look like uh, some fat dipshit in a costume, which... Uh, come on, don't make fun of the suit actor. Come on. Come on. He needed money. Uh, and apparently, uh, uh, the, the suit actor who played Barney got a lot of money. Uh, again, it was a cash cow franchise, so, uh, you know, uh, good career choice if, uh, <laughs> if you ask me, but, uh, you know, it, I just kind of find it funny that there was, like, th this big edgelord fucking, uh, look at how adult I am review of this that came out, again, six fucking days after 9-11 happened. Like, you, you really have nothing better to do <laughs> than write a fucking Edgelord review of Barney? Like, you, you could have donated blood, you could have at least, like, kept an eye on the news or something, but nope, you just wanted to, like, make a thing about Barney being the new devil and whatnot. It's so weird. So weird. Um, but that's just sort of... This game, it, it's a, a very weird thing that it even exists. Um, it's not even really a game, like I've said before. Uh, and I really just don't know what to make of it. Uh, but that's... <laughs> that's... That's this thing here. This piece of software, and, uh... So... I see that, uh... The video footage has ended, so I will end this by singing... A lovely goodbye song. <clears throat> I love you. No!